Welcome around people on Sonnet. My name is Tyler and today I'm going to show you guys two simple ways to actually crash a blender, which is something I technically don't show you guys how to do, but I want to show you guys today. So first up, we're actually going to do a really simple task of changing the render engine uh, to cycles, and we're going to hit GPU Compute. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change it to the viewport shading tab. And typically you want to wait for the render kernels to finish loading, but what I'm going to do is say screw that, and I'm actually going to change it instantly. And now what happens is uh, Blender doesn't like that and has decided to actually crash. Now the second way to crash Blender is more of a, uh, I think it's more of just a uh, computer bottleneck, and also just the software not um, being able to do this certain process well, and this is the subdivision surface uh, crash, if you want to call it that way. So uh, what I do usually uh, for the viewport, you usually want to do like uh, one to three, four is a little bit overkill, five is pretty crazy, and everything else above that gets a little laggy. So what I like to do is uh, max this out at 11, which will already make Blender um, uh, work Overboard, and so now, as you can see, I'm already dropping a ton of frames. So now, what we're going to do, we're actually going to duplicate this, and this should now crash Blender. As you can see, rotating uh, circle of death. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, just something a little bit different than I thought of, and I'll see you guys on the next video.